All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the video film with 1000 Day Challenge. It's day 974, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, as you know, it's a Saturday. Just doing a very quick run through for the weekly chart itself. So across the board for S&P 500 and NASDAQ, <coughs> or for the US equity market in general, we see a very nice green candlestick kind of close. But in terms of S&P 500, what I mentioned is slightly little bit weaker compared to NASDAQ, because NASDAQ is very clearly from a very higher it has formed a higher high and in addition to that, formed an even higher high. So there's a very clear continuation pattern or reversal pattern from the clear downward momentum in that sense. So over here, we do form a high low and a higher low over here. So clearly also, we do have a potential kind of a shift on market structure. So a break over here will potentially a very strong momentum shift from 4.15k to 4.3k very swiftly. And then perhaps some consolidation over here. And then we could have a very nice decent break towards the further upside in that sense for S&P 500. And if you're looking in terms of NASDAQ-wise, we really form high over here. We've clearly taken the lead to break above that. So potential key resistance will be over here at 13.6k resistance. I do think very likely we are going to head towards that until we see very clear distinct rejection sign on the weekly chart at least. And then if you look in terms of the ASHR-wise, we very clearly still want to break above 50 simple moving average on the weekly chart in order to mark a potential shift for momentum itself. So that's something that we do want to see in terms of a change of market structure, at least on the daily chart. And coupled with that, that could be a good early entry sign for you to enter here and potentially very early at 29.80 or below the $30 mark itself to write all the way to $32, which is actually a very decent gain, especially if you're talking in terms of risk to reward. In terms of percentage wise, not so much. Maybe you're talking about 6%, but if you're looking at the very good risk to reward setup, you could potentially even get a 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 10 kind of risk to go set up in a very nice kind of tight stop loss in that sense. And then overall, if you look in terms of keyword wise, similarly, same thing on the weekly chart, we see a potential shift for momentum. So do look for potential change of market structure on shorter time frame, like say on the daily chart or even on a four hourly chart for earlier entries in that sense. And then finally, for Bitcoin itself, we see potential resistance over here, which is very much expected. Reason why, if you look back to the potential support over here, we actually supported one time, two times, three times, four times. So four weeks before we decided to break below that, and then we just went all the way below that. So over here, we have only one week of testing, second week of testing, third week of testing. So I do think that next week itself may potentially also not break, and then we'll consolidate for one more week. Of course, we could also break one week earlier, but we consolidate one more week and then break the following week itself. That will follow the exact same pattern that we have over here, in which case we have a decisive break all the way to this 13, 3100, uh, 31,400 region itself, and then perhaps consolidate over here, or even swiftly, like what you see over here, quickly clears through and put all the way to retest this, which is the 35k region itself, which is why I say that there could be a buy stop or the place over here to take advantage of this very sudden kind of push momentum if it does push through, especially the more time we consolidate towards the upside, similar like what we have over here, we consolidate get a rejection push, this is where you have a very swing failure push, whereby you have a trigger sign over there. So something I do actually prefer is that we do actually have a swift retest of this 26k region itself, or even slightly higher 26.8k region itself, then that will mark a very nice sign whereby you get this opposite kind of effect that we want to see. All right, with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.